Hey guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. In this video, I'm going to be shopping at the mall as it has the Lego store in my city. The only Lego store in my city that tends to be rather tiny and small. So anyway, in this vlog, I'm going to be sharing with you all some of my experience shopping at the Lego store, purchasing a giveaway prize for you guys, and a few other items from the pick a brick wall as well. So anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. I'll be recording a voiceover here because it's way too loud there. So anyway, right here we have the beautiful and gorgeous Diagon Alley, which I am in love with. I need to get it. I thought it was smaller from, based on the images. Anyway, we also have the gigantic Roman Colosseum, which looks cool, and the Disney Castle, which looks great as well. But the Diagon Alley beats them all. And apparently there's like a free exclusive ice rink promo that I don't really want. And yeah, some stocking stuffer promotions and such. And as we enter the Lego store, we have some Sith art featuring Darth Vader, the A-Wing, and some Mario sets there, which look pretty cool, I suppose, not really my cup of tea, and the Mandalorian battle pack, and the beautiful, beautiful A-Wing. <laughs> We also have Moss Eisley Cantina, which looks gorgeous as well. The Child and Mandalorian Rickheads and Mustafar, the little Mustafar set there. And I really think that I need to get back into collecting Lego Star Wars because I just love the theme. They're coming up with so many cool sets these days. And I just think I have to hop on that bandwagon and get all the sets. And yeah, we have some Lego sets on sale here. The Lego... Marvel Soup Spider-Man Far From Home set there, and we also have Trolls World Tour, surprise, I wonder why it's on sale, and Toy Story 4. We also have some Hidden Side, rest in peace Hidden Side, you will be missed, by me at least. Some Overwatch, and in the back there, I think that is also another Marvel set. And we also have the beautiful Stranger Things set, which I own proudly, and it looks absolutely fantastic. If you don't have it, what are you waiting for? Get it. And again, we have the Assembly Square. And moving on, as I walk around the store, I am making my way to the Lego Harry Potter section, my favorite section in the whole store. We have the Umbridge's Encounter in the Forbidden Forest, which I want to get for you guys for a giveaway because I think it's really cool. And aside from the Umbridge's Encounter and the Forbidden Forest, we have the Room of Requirement, which is pretty cute as well. But I feel like the Umbridge's Encounter set will be much cooler to give away to you guys. So I just figured I'd grab it. You know, why not? I hope I grab it. Like, I know I'm going to grab it. Come on, grab it. Come on. Yay, and she got it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's the set for the giveaway. Stay tuned as I'll be hosting a giveaway announcement video very very soon so yeah that'll be pretty exciting and we have a gorgeous little lego harry potter display here with sets that i own in my collection that i have yet to build and hagrid's hut there and screaming umbridge yay and right here we made it to the lego city section which looks pretty cool again not really my thing but i really love that main square set super colorful very nice builds there but super overpriced if i must say and some other little lego city sets there which are appealing to a younger audience and an older one as well, but just not really me, you know. I'm more of a Harry Potter kind of girl and Star Wars as well. But yeah, overall, pretty, pretty cool. And we have a Lego Disney set there, which looks pretty cool. I love the train. And I also just recently bought Goofy and Pluto uh, outside of this vlog. We have Donald Duck and Goofy and Pluto. Should I build them on the live stream? Let me know in the comments down below. And we also have a Lego Disney set there, which looks pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I like it. Pretty awesome there. And the first time I've ever seen the Mickey and Minnie Mouse set there, which looks kind of okay-ish, not really my cup of tea. And oh my god, the beautiful and the majestic Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. Why did I move so quickly? Come on, I want to see it again. And some Lego Technic. Oh, why did I move that shot so quickly? Past me, come on, do a better job recording your vlogs, come on. We also have some things at the front there, like Santa keychains and some sets on sale there, some magnets and some brick heads, seasonal brick heads there. Looks pretty cool. I didn't get any of those, but you know, you know. And yep, we also made it to the Ninjago section, but unfortunately I couldn't cross the line to make it to that section. I don't think I'm allowed crossing the line, but I really want to see things over there. But, you know, my heart's broken. I really want to cross that line. What should I do? Wow. First time I saw this in person. It's gorgeous. The UCS Millennium Falcon. I love that Leia figure right there and Han Solo. Chewie, older Han, Finn, Rey, C3PO, two cute little porgs, and BB-8. Fantastic. 
here's the pick a brick selection. I think I need to get some of these. And also some of these as well. And those. And these. And some heads maybe. Just for the sake of it. So we are done from the Lego store and I'd say that was a successful mission. The lady at the cash was really really nice to me. And I got myself a giveaway prize for you guys. Oh wait, and she also told me that the Monster Book of, Book of Monsters is coming to Canada, which is why I'm really excited now. They're getting like a shipment in soon. So I'll definitely get that as soon as I can because I love it. And yeah, now for real, I'll see you at the Boba Tea Shop. Bye! So, got myself my bubble tea. It's mango slush from Real Fruit Bubble Tea, not sponsored by the way. And right here in my Lego bag, we have a pick a brick cup right here with some amazing pieces from my Azkaban prison. They also were kind enough to give us an extra scoop. They said uh, for $20, especially now during COVID, they're giving an extra scoop in here. And in here we have those like log pieces. I don't want to open the bag right now, but it's log pieces in this color. We gave us like a strip of them, along with some 1x4 black tiles in this bag. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you guys in detail later on when I actually use them. But yeah, I think that was pretty awesome. And I also got for you guys an extra blind bag right here, Fred Weasley, because I figured, you know what, why not? I love the Weasley twins, and this is a tribute for Fred Weasley. So I just figured I'd get you guys this awesome little blind bag right here and Umbridge's an encounter in the Forbidden Forest for the giveaway that I'll be hosting next week, which is really exciting. So turn on your post notifications and keep your eyes peeled because I'm doing a lot of things for you guys and I don't want you to miss out. As always, I hope you guys had a fantastic time watching this video and I had a fun time today at the mall shopping around. This is basically wrapping up my experience at the Lego store and I would rate it a 5 out of 5. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for the giveaway and bye for now. Bad transition, I'm so sorry.